welcome to third of april's godly blessing now there should be love for everyone including the brahmin family and the whole world actually if you think about it the whole world is adam's child adam's children so adam is also known as brahma in the sanskrit word or sanskrit language or sanskrit education which is the ancient most education of bharat but we have forgotten that so it's time to remember that we are all children of brahma and we are all brahmins actually some of us have become complete brahmins some of us don't even know that we are brahmins and some of us are trying to become a good brahmin so today god says that you should have unbroken love for them each brahmin soul so may you have unbroken love for every brahmin soul and interact with them lovingly and become an embodiment of success so this interaction is first inside and then this interaction is outside so first the inside has to be clean and clear then the outside also becomes clean and clear and our vibrations are felt by the souls so god says just as you have unbroken constant and deep love and elevated feelings for the father can anybody tell you that don't love father because he is not so good enough no you will never accept that but when it comes to somebody else and somebody says that person did this that person is like this immediately a feelings of love right something happens to that right so god is saying don't do that and you have faith in the same way let your love for brahmin souls be unbroken and constant no matter what sanskars that means habits or behavior of others are like even if you don't like it brahmin souls have unbroken relationships through the whole cycle that means those souls whom you are meeting in brahma kumaris are going to be there with you for the whole cycle eight four births more or less not more sorry less actually this is a godly family and the father has selected every soul and brought each one into the godly family to become what purified when you have this awareness and your love is unbroken for everyone not just god your interactions will be full of love and you will easily become an embodiment of success when do we falter in our success when we don't have enough people to have good blessings for us to have good thoughts for us to support us because somewhere or the other there is irritation somewhere or the other there is jealousy and you have to remove all that have clean and clean feelings inside and outside remember loving feelings to generate that and to be successful you're most welcome to learn spiritual art at brahma kumaris om shanti